Hello, Wonder Hussy here, camping in the middle of nowhere at this very quirky hot spring, hidden in the palm trees there. And there's a bunch of interesting people camped here with all manner of interesting rigs. So what I'm gonna do today is, I'm gonna pretend to be Bob Wells. Okay, you ever meet, ever watch Bob Wells' channel, Cheap RV Living? He looks like Santa Claus. Well, I'm gonna pretend to be Bob Wells because I'm gonna interview a guy who's got a very interesting rig right over here. So let me get into Bob Wells mode. <clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome to my next video. Okay, here's the rig. This is who we're interviewing today. What's your name? Michael. Michael, and how do you like, you want me to call you Mike? Sure. Okay, Mike. Whatever you're more comfortable with. Uh, well, I'm comfortable. Don't worry about me, Mike. Uh, so you are interesting because you're driving a minivan. Look at this. Well, Mike, not, it's not your mother's minivan. I understand it's not your mother's minivan, it's not your father's minivan, but it's a minivan. Look at that. It's a Chevy Astro van. How about that? But he's got it all tricked out to where this minivan made it to this ultra super duper remote hot spring. I, I heard that it's difficult to get here. And was it difficult? No, not for this thing. No? I built it right. You built this minivan. Yeah. So these Chevy Astro vans, I mean, I have a friend who's got an Astro van. They're all wheel drive or what's the deal? Okay, typically most of them are two-wheel drive, but there's a small percentage that were made as all-wheel drive. I didn't know that. Then I found out. Then I bought one because I knew you can convert it. Why did you want an Astro van? Because I currently live in the city and I need a vehicle that... What city do you live in? Uh, you're going to make me say it. Don't judge me by this. Uh, okay. I live in Los Angeles. LA? And what part of LA do you live in? I live in Hollywood. Hollywood! Well, it's my big chance to be discovered. Awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, wow. She's going to come out and visit me. And we're going to take over the Hollywood sign. -in. Finally, Hollywood. I knew they'd come calling. So you live in Hollywood yeah. and you have this badass off-road Astro van in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, I, I well, I, I'm a carpenter. I design and build custom furniture and I needed a vehicle that you would design and build custom furniture mm -hmm. for like who fancy movie stars? People can afford it. <laughs> Which so includes those people. Fancy somewhere. movies are wow. Somewhere. So he's building dildo cases for Gwyneth Paltrow. That's fancy. We're gonna. I'm gonna tell you some stories later. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, Mike. So what's the deal with this Astro Man? What should we know? Okay, so the deal is, is that when I started looking into it, I, w I discovered that there was already kits available to convert it to four by four. So it's easy to convert an Astro Van to four by four? It actually is. Okay. <clears throat> Chevy platforms, the cool thing about Chevy is, is that when they would develop these models to save money, they would use parts from existing models already. Okay. So you can pull a lot of parts from other uh, Chevy vehicles that will work on this van. Okay. Pretty genius. So it's easy and cheap to get parts. <clears throat> well, that's for sure. Uh, like the front end suspension is basically like a 1500. Well, why don't you, let's talk more action. Show us. Come on over. Okay. So, so the, the first thing, you might want to get a shot at this. Okay, well, do you want to show us the interior? Or well, the, you, what want, do, you tell me, do you want to talk about the what do you, actual Mike, mechanical stuff? Mike, it's your or? van. What do you want to show us? All right, well, you mentioned 4x4. Four four. Okay. So the first thing is, with an all-wheel drive Astro van, it already has a, uh, a transfer case. It's computer operated. Okay. And the way that this is a third generation. Third generation Astro van was only three years. It was the last three years. And it comes with 16 inch wheels, six lug, four wheel disc brakes, no EGR valve. It's a more robust, modern vehicle compared to all the Astro vans that came before it. Okay. The problem was after, these are very old now. Last one was made in 2005. This is a 2004. This is an 04. Yeah. Well, that's an old ass minivan. A manly man like you. Don't you ever feel like these Jeep guys and these like aggressive off-road guys look at you like, Ooh, nice minivan, man. Nobody gives me any crap. No, because you're a man's man. I'm a man's man. Yeah, you're, I mean, <laughs> he's got a friggin' sledgehammer. You should see what he does with a sledgehammer. He does a sledgehammer workout. You can see he's got his yoga mat here. This dude swings that sledgehammer. He's an ex-marine, right? Well, there's no such thing as an ex-marine. Oh, okay, so he's a... He's a what, what, once a marine, Eternal marine. marine. Who does a sledgehammer workout? <laughs> this dude has no shortage of testosterone. Show the peanut gallery just really quick. We, uh, just so you know, we have some very interesting people <laughs> sitting by watching us film this. Like we have an oil what, hand. what do What do you guys think about this minivan? Is it uh, manly? Please, please stop Is this like super minivan. masculine? It's, it's manly, and, and and we've got two blondes too. So. Yeah, the dogs <laughs> like it. Okay, all right. Okay, sorry about that, Mike. So anyway, you were saying. So the all-wheel drive uh, transfer case. There was a glitch after years, sometimes it would just get stuck on. Oh. And a lot of people don't realize it. 
and that will severely hurt your fuel economy. Oh. <clears throat> so. Well, speaking of fuel economy, what do you get? Uh, well. Why not, do you, it's why not, do you it's, look it, distressed, Mike? I'm not happy about it. That's why. Oh, okay. it, it, it's not great right now. Uh, I'm going to improve upon it. I will do an engine swap and all that. But I will say, if you want to know the answer. Yeah, uh, well, I asked for a reason. It's probably on a long trip on the West Coast. This is a lot of hemming and hawing, Mike. What is it? Well, because it's because it's different depending on where you are. Okay. Depending on your elevation. Uh, so what is it, up, one? Uh, <laughs> I'm basically going three miles per gallon. No, <laughs> no but it, it's, it's, it's probably around 13 miles per gallon. Oh, that's not bad. Average. Yeah. Uh, but depending on speed and, and, and terrain and okay. elevation and All grade, right. it could be much better okay. or worse. Okay. Can go either way. I will say, just if you're watching and you're curious, stick with like a 30 inch tall tire stick with your standard three four two gears and when i did that i was getting uh like 18 to 20 miles per gallon no problem driving across the country. yeah i put 32 inch tires on this i put 410 gears in it 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 i thought i had the rpm range correct but i was off so like my my uh goldilocks window of perfect this is too much information yes <laughs> oh you guys say no not too much not the, the peanut gallery says more information okay. what do i know i'm just a girl the goldilocks spot in it, where i get really good mileage like ridiculously hard to believe is between like 43 miles per hour and like 56 miles per hour so you drive get, slow is what you're saying no I drive at 75 miles an hour. That's the problem. That's why oh, I get so shit. If you would just cruise slowly, you'd be golden. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do that. You can't drive 58 miles an hour. Are you like Sammy Hagar? You can't drive 55? Uh, it's impossible. Uh, you're, that's just, <laughs> you're too manly. Yeah, is, that, is that a negative? Well, I'm not saying it's negative, but you know, it's just not a problem for me. Okay, Mike, now what? So what I did was I swapped out the transfer case for MP233C. Oh, MP233C. I love that. It's good case. stuff. And uh, you should look. Okay, yeah, show us. Let's talk more show. So in, on the floor between the seats, can you get in there? Uh, oh, do you mind? Well, first of all, hold on a minute. Your van is so nice. I, I don't want to muss your carpets. No, no. Get in oh, there. okay. We'll I get got in. a vacuum. We can clean it. Oh, he, oh, he, he, does. he does have a vacuum. Look at that. You got it. You got it. Okay, so what am I looking at? The shifter. I put a Hearst T-shifter on there. Oh, dang. So that's four high, four low. Four on the floor? <laughs> No, no, no. I have. It's I have, four and it's on the floor. That's four on the floor. <laughs> that's a regular, that's real four by four. That's not all wheel drive anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is a honest to goodness, all American, red blooded USDA prime grade, a four by four. Yep. Okay. And uh, what, it, what it means is that now I'm in two wheel drive all the time. So I, that helps me with fuel economy. Oh, okay. What I also did for off-road ability is I put a posi traction in the rear end. Posi traction? Yeah. I went with 32-inch tires. Okay, let's look, take a look under your undercarriage. Yeah. Is that okay? Whoops. Okay, well, let's take a that peek like under. A trooper. Yeah, exactly. You're not the only one. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's take a look underneath. What are we looking at? Well, if you want to look at the rear end. Yeah, rear, I, rear I love looking at a rear end. Who doesn't? The rear ends are something Right, guys? Favorite. We all love a good rear end, huh? Mmm, that's good looking. This is a very sexy rear end. Yeah. If you guys Ooh. haven't seen it yet. You can guys, it not for end. kids. What, what do you want to show us? Well, just check it out. Okay. Got a nice cool cover on there. I fit a 32 inch spare tire, oh, full size. Oh, look at that. He's got a full size spare. To do that, I had to pull the exhaust all the way over to the right. Pulled the exhaust to the right. I poked, poked it out the side of the body. If you want to see that, that's oh. pretty bad. Oh, exhaust poking out the side. I'm running coilovers because that helps with sway. When you're okay. going down the highway, yeah, there's no yeah, sway yeah. now. So I'm being smart about it. Yeah. All right. And uh, I'm still working on the build, you know, and actually this trip I'm experimenting with some new products like the awning. Yeah, you've got a whole, let's let's talk about your setup. Hold on. I'm interested in your whole camp setup here. Like you got this cool awning, Hasika. What is this? Yeah, so, so I wanted an awning, but I don't like the idea of having an awning uh, strapped to my rack system all the time. It hurts gas mileage. Oh, having the awning mounted yeah, on the top. Yeah. You see those overlanders with a rooftop tent and the awning on the roof. And the UV destroys it. Yeah, you know? so what's the point? So I, I, I started looking at awnings that you could put together like this. Now, there's a company called Moonshade, but it's like $400. $400. Mm. We don't want to spend $400. What's this? This was $116. $116 for this whole setup, including the thing over your hatch? No. Oh. That was $69. 60, oh, $69. Yeah, there's something about $69 in my life. Uh, there's like 69 inches tall. The widget uh, board told me I was going to die around 69. Oh, no. I'm old. glad we're making this video but, uh, while before we have time. I go, before yeah. I kick off. So uh, what I did was I modified it. I put grommets uh, supported by leather 
right where I have two D-rings on the roof so I can lash it down at the top. Oh, nice. And, and then what's this thing coming out over your so back? this is for a hatchback car. It's for the, a hatchback car, but you put it on your minivan. Because this is essentially a hatchback. It's called the Dutch door system. Dutch like, door. Oh, okay, like doors. a Dutch door, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I looked at and it. And is I, this standard to Astro Vans that it opens like that, like a Dutch door? There's two different types. This is the Dutch door system. The other one is called barn door, where there's just two doors that open like this. So the Dutch door is the bottom doors open and the then hatch the top. opens. And That's then you open cool. The two other doors. Yeah, it's very. And then cool. you built all this badass custom cabinetry into it because that's what you do. That's what I do, but I mean, it's not it's as badass as it could be. It's pretty badass. I mean, look at this. I'm just don't mind me. I'm gonna be a nosy, but he's nosy look, you want. look, he's got like <laughs> baking vanilla. He's got all his little spices. Now, if it was me, I'd have little bottles of whiskey and stuff in well, there. That's in the fridge. Yeah, no, I know As you. you know. I know you have that, but this is. I mean, all joking aside, this is really nicely Thank done. Thank you. And the the original thought was, when this is closed, I'm in there. I have to get my hand there to plug the charger in. I can put my phone in this groove. Oh, so when this is closed, yeah. that's your phone groove. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that! He even carved a groove for his phone. You thought of everything. And this is a real cutting board. It's no joke. And then look at this cutting board. Oh, that's beautiful. It's African mahogany. Ribbon African. Ring now, with, did with you walnut. just happen to like find some African mahogany oh, that no. fell off a truck or something? Cause you got a lot of that in the. I have band. all this material because it's what I do for a living. I only work with quality wood. Yeah, you do high end work, so you ha he's got a lot of really nice. I mean, that's beautiful wood. Yeah. So I, I, I'll I tuck this in here. It's very rudimentary. Keep it simple, stupid. K I S. -S. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Occam's Occam's razor. Uh, now. I like, I have these coins from Greece and I use these for the locks. Oh, that's a <clears> Greek <throat> coin? Yeah, it's Alexander the Great. Are you Greek? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what's your name? Mike Z? Yeah, uh, Zikopoulos. Zikopoulos, oh, okay. Wow, look at that. that. That's pretty nifty little latch there. I like that. You'll see that on the drawer on the inside. Okay, and yeah, we can. the refrigerator wait. for the first time ever with a Blue Eddy. Uh, oh, so he's got a, a Blue Eddy fridge. Let me see your fridge. It's over here. He's got his fridge out here. And the, the solar panels that came with the Blue Eddy are working great. So the we, rack system is something you might want to... Okay, hold at. on a minute. I'm just going to point out he's got his fridge right there. And it's plugged into these solar panels, which we're charging up. But the sun just went down. So, unfortunately, you're probably not pulling in much. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this place. There's snow on the mountaintops. <laughs> See, he's never been here before. I invited him to this hot spring and he She's didn't know. a sweetheart. Yeah, he didn't know what he was getting into, but he came out here and his mind was blown because not only is it a beautiful location, but there's so many interesting people here too. <laughs> Naked people. Oh yeah. We had, we had to put clothes on. For we did. This we video. had to get dressed for this video because this is a, <laughs> one of them nudist hot springs. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So here's the exterior of the van. Looking at the van, we got a platform on the top. Yeah. What I'm really, you know, it's cool. Is you'll be able to walk up and get a shot of it actually. Oh, so if I hike up this little hill here, hold on. Let me go up on this berm. Yeah. Look at that. He built this platform on top, and that's because you still use this as a work van. This is my only vehicle. This is his daily driver. So when he's doing these fancy cabinets for Gwyneth Paltrow, he's got to carry up to how much she weight? She said that, I didn't. How much weight do you put up on top? I've had over a ton of material. On over that. one ton of material on that rooftop platform. Yeah. How it's about not, that? It's no joke. So I just engineered it right, and I understand how uh, uh, dissipating load is important. Dissipating load, yeah, that's impressive. And but you could use that as like a stargazing deck. You could sleep I've, up there. I've had five adults up there partying. Five adults have partied on your roof. I've put a tent Dang. up there. Oh, and, wow. and I slept in it up there. And again, very nice, really very nice. Okay, I have another friend that was in some of my videos named Scott, who had an Astro van, and his Astro van was pretty cool, but he didn't do any of these crazy modifications. Scott's going to be jealous. Scott will be jealous, but I'm jealous. I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of yeah. sort of toying with the idea of van life, but I'm so used to being in my little forerunner where I can get anywhere. And you know, if I get a big sprinter van or an Econoline van or a converted ambulance or something like that, now all of a sudden I lose maneuverability. I can't get into those tight little spots. But this, your, the wheelbase on this is the same as my Toyota, pretty much. Yeah, or a Subaru. Very similar, yeah, a Toyota or a Subaru. So you can get, a, people go, oh, Chevy Astro van, minivan, soccer mom car. I think there's a lot to be said for a vehicle like this. Okay, Mike, well, listen, your vehicle is badass on the exterior. We can see it's extremely capable. We can see it could drive right up Mount Kilimanjaro and down the other side with no That's problem what whatsoever. Exactly, but I'm curious to see the inside. Can we see the inside? And it's super cute in here. 
For a manly man's van, it's pretty cozy. Look at that. Oh, man, you're growing me up. No, no, look at that. That's cozy. <laughs> yeah, this is like just the right size for a gal like me. This is my step stool to get in the van. Oh, hold on a minute. This oh. is your step stool to get in the van? What yeah. is this? It's actually a toilet. Oh, is your fancy pooping in the woods toilet? Yeah, it's got a ring that snaps in here with a bag. A man like you doesn't want to pop a squat. We can. Do you want to talk about pooping in the woods? Because I have a whole. Well, this video is about your van. We can talk about that later. I put the lid on it, not because it needs a lid, but because it will support 300 pounds. I can step on. Oh, it. it's a step stool. Look, it's not just a toilet. It's also a step stool. So that makes life a lot easier. Yeah, because I mean, with the amount of clearance you have, that is a significant step up. Yeah. So that just is helpful. Okay, so uh, wow, let me just peek inside here. We went with linoleum instead of vinyl. Oh wait, so this is actual <clears throat> real linoleum, not yeah, vinyl. What they use in hospitals. It's a natural product. It, this, it, uh, it's naturally antiseptic. Yeah, dirt doesn't stay in it. Uh, it's easy but to it's clean. But it's covered with this rug. Yeah, I know. The rugs are great because uh, it gives you a little cushion. I'm not stoked with the pattern but they were from the 99 cent store 9.99 a piece at the 99 cent store ten dollars a piece at the 99 cent store <laughs> but that, those are really nice rugs yeah and, it, and the great thing is you could take it right out and shake it out yeah clean all that sand out yeah yeah and you just got what one two three of them mm -hmm. in here so I, i've got this closet cabinet here yeah this is all the cabinetry he built because he does custom cabinetry like this oh yeah so, the so door this, folds right down i've got a leg for this here i just there's gonna be something more sophisticated but for now that's, that's perfect that's your table yeah and i can sit here that so he's got more. his passenger seat that swivels he turned it around and i can sit there and work at that table this is uh african mahogany that that's the same stuff your cutting board was made out of yeah, beautiful and the grain matches from here to here it's the same piece and then i got a coin lot that locks this oh, in. oh look he used his little locking coin trick and then I got a drawer here. Yeah, storage. And then this cabinet here is an experiment still. This is just made from junk. Uh, but I'm going to do this to match that. It's and, pretty nice. And this, right. And this piece is modular. That's modular. Everything could come out. So this, this could just be back to a regular van, working van. And the bed too? Yeah, but not. I never take it out because I just I, all my tools store underneath here. Yeah. I've got all my pretty much my my carpentry toolkit and my mechanics toolkit because on this trip I'm carrying extra weight. Yeah. On purpose. In the ceiling I've got aromatic cedar. Oh wow! Look at the ceiling. That's beautiful. It's all book matched. And that's just <clears throat> cosmetic. You didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do you it. You just want to look nice because you like nice things. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why I like Sarah. Aww. Very nice, Mike. Thank you. Uh, I love her. So, so the, the these rails are African mahogany. It's like an upside down T, and the panels are just floating. So if I pull the screws, this comes off. The panel slides right out. So if I want to add lighting or take it out, it's really easy. Wow. What what's your lighting situation? I really don't have any. I use what came with the van. Oh, so you just use the car light. And then um, I and that's have, just your car battery. You don't have a second yeah. battery. So I have uh, the. The uh, solar generator has a light on the back of it, and I have other. I have this, you know. Which oh, is, your shop light! Oh, yeah. that's real ambient. Look at that. Yeah. Real so, sexy. It, that's it, good it, if you invite a lady over. That's the perfect kind of mood lighting, right there. Ooh. I think Sarah. I, I think. Uh, I think Sarah just told me. Sarah just told me to buy some mood lighting. I think Sarah just said she didn't want to come into your van with that kind of lighting. <laughs> so yeah, it's very comfortable. It is very comfortable. So it's, you got lots of storage under the bed. Yeah, yeah, and I fit exactly here, so I sleep a little bit on an angle. Sideways. Yeah, and two people could uh, fit on this. Oh, is that so? Yeah. I'll prove it to you later. Uh, What's this New Jersey outdoor adventure? This like, guy's great. He, that, this, his name is Patrick, and he's got a great YouTube channel. And are I'll, you from New Jersey? I'm from New Jersey. Oh, you are? Is that what that accent is? I have an accent? What, what accent are you talking about? Uh, oh, I'm not talking about anything. What are you talking about? Oh, no, no, no offense intended. You want some water? Do, pe do people think you're a, <laughs> some kind of thug? Is that the... Yeah. Watch, you guys gotta watch. First of all, I didn't even mention this, but he has his own YouTube channel and he tells some very interesting stories. They're all true. On his YouTube channel. I watched this one video he made where apparently a lot of people in Hollywood think he's a hitman. Yeah, I don't know true. why. It's a true story. Yeah. So check out his channel. I'll put a link to it right up here. Oh, you're such a sweet. Yeah, I know. I, and I wouldn't put a link to any just any junk channel. His channel is actually very interesting. So whether or not you're into 4x4 Astro Vans, if you're into some weird stories, check well, them out. I, I have to interject something. Oh, sure. If you people think that Sarah's a sweetheart, you're 100% accurate. Oh, yay. <laughs> Score. Mikey thinks I'm awesome. Yeah. Mikey likes it. Oh, what's this? It's the 
ultimate hiking stick I made in 1990. This is your hiking stick? So you made this? Yeah. Appalachian Trail, 1990. Did you do the Appalachian Trail? Well, no, just a little part of it where I live, but uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's what kind of wood is that? I don't even know. It's like a twisted... Uh, wow, that's cool. Maybe, yeah. It's super strong. You can't really break it. You got When you're climbing a hill, you can lock your thumb. So your hand can't slide. Oh yeah. And you got this thing here, so you can swing it out when you're walking. Oh yeah. And then with this little bend in it, when you're really sucking wind, and you're going uphill. Oh. Now you yes. got a place to rest your arms. I this. Yeah, that's a nice hiking stick. But you don't use that for defense. Like for defense, would you use I this? I call uh... it the Bigfoot Be Good hiking stick. Oh okay. I have to. Yeah. If you, but you also can use your uh, workout sledgehammer as defense too, right? Yeah, it, it, this is a great workout tool, but it's also a universal key. So what, you can just break into any door? If you had to. Well, why would you have reason, to? Oh, okay. Wow, that, yeah, that's wild, man. That's good to carry around with you. It's useful for many things. But isn't that like a fence post driver or something? So, what is oh, it? Oh, man, good question. So this right here is what's called a post mall. Post mall. Yeah. These are all sand cast, each one's different, and the cowboys used to use these to drive. They would make fence posts out of mesquite, things like that. Oh, yeah. So that's what this comes from. And then I make my own handle, I laminate it. Oh, you it. made this handle? Yeah. I laminate it, make a nub on the end, and then when you're... I didn't think I was going to do this for you. That's okay, but we want to see. if I wanted to like, get into like working with this thing... Is that your workout? That's part of it, you know. That's one of the moves. Because that thing is, how much does that weigh? 14 pounds. 14 pounds, but oh the dear. The further your hand is from the weight, the heavier it is, right? Yeah. And so you build grip strength and all that. So it's a workout tool, but it's also a door opener and... And, and it's a sledgehammer. So yeah, so if someone tries to come into your van in the middle of the night, now you got something no. to, no? <laughs> you can't oh. swing this in the van. But if you're on the trail, and you have a jagged rock there you're nervous about, I can go out there and whack the tip of that off. Oh, okay, so speaking of trail, tomorrow, Aha. some of us are gonna try going over a very notorious Death Valley Pass called Steel Pass. And this is one of those passes where- I think they're suckering me. Jeepers and off-roaders are all sitting around talking about how gnarly steel pass is and only the biggest rig with the highest tires and the biggest lift can handle steel pass. But you're gonna try steel pass? Well, I'm gonna do it. He's gonna, oh, he's not gonna try it. Do or do not, there is no try, right? Yeah, you yeah, do it. He's gonna do steel pass, but if you did encounter some kind of rock in the way, you would just take this sledgehammer and make short work of it, right? Yeah, what, what was the John that swings the hammer? Oh, Big, Big John. John. Big Bad John. Big John. Okay, listen, Mike, it, it, you've, wait, wait, you, wait, wait, we've heard enough out of you. What, what else do you have to say? Uh, I have to say that I'm super grateful to be here, and if it wasn't for Sarah inviting me, this wouldn't have happened. I met beautiful human beings. Oh, uh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed being here because, I mean, there's some people here. It's not for everybody, you know what I mean? Look at like, these two guys. I, well, I, I'm not <laughs> trying to put anybody on blast, but this is a very quirky hot spring, and you're a very manly man, uh, so I wasn't quite sure how he would react to this environment, but he took to it like a duck to water. I, I had eyeshadow on last night. Yeah, mm, he did. <laughs> Uh, but, I, but I think this van is going to have no problem. Your van is going to have no problem going over Steel Pass tomorrow morning. I'm going to actually ride along with him and film footage. So if you're interested in seeing a m soccer mom minivan. I hate that you're go, saying it. Well, it is. I, I hate that she keeps saying it's this. It's a soccer mom minivan. It's not your mother's minivan. For all the benefit of all the Jeepers out there who think their rigs are the only ones that can handle Steel Pass. We're gonna show. We're gonna prove them wrong. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna prove them wrong because this, this is a beast. This thing will do it, right? I, well, you're telling me it will. <laughs> well, well, these guys have more experience with it. They've actually done it before. We haven't. So. I, I I'm, I'm just being suckered into, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be an adventure. And anyway, whether even if you blow all four tires and scrape your undercarriage to smithereens, I don't care. It'll be fun, and I enjoyed. I enjoyed checking out your rig. I Thank do you. still, I still want a Chevy Astro van, man. That's pretty sweet. I feel like it's a sweet spot between a van and a Forerunner. It's really good if you live, if you don't live uh, in a rural area, if you live in a metropolitan area, because it's a relatively small platform, so you can still parallel park. It'll fit in. You can still space. park this in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's where I'm working. It's where I'm yeah, working. you yeah. are. Oh, far out. Well, yeah. listen. That's why I have it. Eventually, if I leave the city, I will go with a different rig. Oh, you also, oh, this isn't, you won't have this forever? I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. I do love it. 
Well, if you do consider it's like a good one. Like you get frustrated sometimes. You get a little tired things sometimes. Mm -hmm. But then you no, re what? remember why oh, you loved it. Then no. you're back to it. No one ever so gets frustrated it's, with it's, a good woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, watch his channel for more information. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we. I look forward to seeing this thing go over steel pass. But whether it does or doesn't, Mike, give me a handshake. I want to do Bob Wells style. Oh, really, okay. really cool rig, Mike. Well, awesome. I'm glad I got to tour you again. I'm glad I got to meet you. You're a cool guy. You're a sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Listen, everybody, check out his channel. It's very interesting and he's got some good stories. Uh, don't mind these strange folk in the background. You might see them tomorrow in our Steel Pass video, or at least one of them. Uh, that's about it. I'm going to sign off now because I'm going to have a spaghetti dinner. And guess what? We're both going to have spaghetti. After yeah. ice with drinks. That's crazy. We're in yeah. the middle of nowhere with ice. We've had a very luxurious experience out here we've had ice now we're having spaghetti and then we're going to go have cocktails so we're signing off <laughs>